Hi there, this is Tom Chafe uh, here at the North Plains Veterinary Clinic and one of the things that uh, we get asked about is or we want people to know about is how do we monitor patients under anesthesia. Uh, our most important monitor is going to be our veterinary technician or veterinary technician assistant that's a human being that's physically watching and checking different aspects of your pet's health uh, when they're under anesthesia. We have a little dog here that's under anesthesia for routine dental cleaning. We're about ready to take some x-rays. I'm going to take a quick moment to go over what our um, uh, what our anesthetic monitoring devices are. Uh, this is the uh, a Cardell mo monitor. It checks a whole bunch of things. We have the EKG monitor here that gives us the tracing of, uh, of his heart. Right now we have a nice normal sinus rhythm. That's terrific, good job. Um, over here, the next line here uh, is the uh, uh, pulse oximeter. It's uh, the SpO2, so for anyone who's ever been to the hospital where you, they put the, the red light device on your finger to see what your num numbers are, everything's good. He's got a lot of hair on his feet right now. This number is actually a little higher than what it looks. This next one is actually an extremely important one. It's our capnograph. And what that is, is that it uh, tells us how well the dog is using oxygen, how well it's able to produce carbon dioxide. It tells us a lot of things. It's uh, maybe a little too much to get into right now, but probably one of our most important tools. Down here is probably our second most important tool, which is blood prep pressure. Um, you know, 121 over 69, people recognize those numbers. What we really like and need to know is what our mean arterial pressure is, and this machine tells us all those things. These numbers over here represent um, the actual numbers that go along with the capnograph, um, and that uh, uh, type of tool is known as the end tidal CO2 monitor. And those are the main things that we monitor uh, during anesthesia. During the course of this, uh, the patients are also receiving intravenous fluids, which goes through a, um, uh, an IV catheter that goes into their little arms. Everyone gets one that's under anesthesia. Um, and then you can't see it underneath here, but our little friend here is not only covered with blankets and all kinds of nice cozy things, but underneath here there's a water jacketed heating pad that helps keep them warm. So, oh, it's so nice on those cold days. Um, and then the very last thing, just to make sure we uh, make this very, very well understood, the machines are all helpful. The single most important thing for monitoring your pet are the human beings. Now they've all just kind of scattered around and back here uh, to maybe not want to be in our, in our video right this moment, but they are the single most important thing for observing and monitoring your pet under anesthesia. Keeping your pet safe is going to be very important and we thank you very much for choosing North Plains Veterinary. What does that machine do? This is the anesthetic machine, and it's not so much for monitoring. This is how we administer the, the gas. This is the uh, precision vaporizer. This is how we deliver the gas. And actually, right now, only 1% of what this dog is receiving is anesthetic gas. The rest of it is oxygen. So mainly, they're receiving oxygen with a tiny bit of gas just to help keep them as asleep.